How's it going guys? My name is Graham, welcome to Two Left Thumbs. You're watching a video promoting the Patreon for Sock Pop Collective, a group of indie game developers who for the last year and a half have been releasing two game jam style games every month. If you want to be a part of it and support them, you can get access to those two games per month for as little as $3 over on their Patreon. There's a link down below to their Patreon page, you can go and pledge there. There's also a link to their itch.io page where you can buy the individual games for $3. Also, in case you want to put it off until the end, the end card at the end of this video is also going to be a link to their Patreon page. Page. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy the video. This is the first game from Sock Pop Collective's Patreon, Jut, they act, Jut, Jut, whatever it is, I looked it up, because I, I know that Sock Pop is actually, it translates to Sock Puppet, and so I thought it was going to be a recurring thing with a lot of these, like, small, few letter words that they would translate to something. You type this into Google Translate, it's Jet. Nothing changes with that one. The Patreon actually launched with two games. This, I guess, is the first. They, I mean, they're uploaded at the same time. This one was posted about first. You're a little trash critter that just wanders around. You just kind of lead him around with the mouse. And I love his ginormous limbs. I didn't realize he had, like, proper feet. In my mind, I was just kind of looking at... Oh my god, did I just pluck a hat out of myself? I'm gonna put the hat back on. I want the hat. I want to keep the hat. I, yeah, I just thought I was some sort of weird spider-like creature or something like that. No, I'm like a legit thing. Ah, oh, this is kind of like Katamatari that I don't remember what the hell it's called game where you just keep like adding on to yourself here. I just am a trash bag person. I'm a trash person. <laughs> Physically, not morally. Morally, I'm a great person. I'm cleaning up the environment. The little antenna and everything reminds me almost of like Chibi Robo. I can't tell if I'm being made slower, but I can I can hear all this stuff just kind of clamoring around. Nice splits over top of that post there. I'm crushing it out here. This this can really deflects my arm. Oh, am I depositing things in the trash perhaps? Oh, I can permanently dispose of things this way. All right, well, I don't want I don't want any of this except for the hat. The hat is staying. You can't make me get rid of it, and I don't want to anyways. Look at how good the reach is on this guy. Oh, yeah, you want to get this. Make sure you're saving them dolphins. Oh, this is it. This is the end of the shore. Also, another thing that I didn't immediately uh, look at or think of, I'm pretty sure this is, like, generated sea foam. That's not like a looping animation. That's like a cool iterative thing. And they did it uh, repeatedly so that you would have the different layers of the color and then the pullback of the foam, like the wetness on the beach and everything. Most of these are like legit full games. A lot of these are kind of like experimental, uh, just playing around with different mechanics and things like that. So the interesting perspective, the way this guy moves, I don't know, the way he just he just kind of follows and does a little bit of his own thing and seemingly does a little bit of automated animation. There's not like a set walk cycle as far as I can tell because he smoothly transitions into like any movement you make him do. And the fact that the, the sea foam and everything is is being generated that way, that's really cool. That's like something cool to play around with, like interesting mechanics to come up with for the sake of like a little experimental game. For games like this that are less uh, gamey, I do want to keep an eye out. Ooh, shark tooth, that's neat. Let's go make some cool... Ooh, and an egg! We almost have an entire shark. <laughs> Let's go make a cool like puka necklace to go sell on the beachfront. Or even, even just the footprints being left behind, the, the shadows and everything. I want to try and look out, keep an eye out for cool things that maybe they were trying out specifically with this, this game. Look at the way all this stuff is like dragging me down. This is kind of fun, just like tossing things. I want to pr be free of it for a second to see the, the immediate comparison of the speed I move at. It totally slows me down to load up on all this stuff. I want to read the letter. I want to know what was written on the letter. That's very sweet. No one writes letters anymore. <laughs> Look at the way that shit drags behind. Oh, it's too silly. Do you know what there's too much of in the sea? Seaweed. Throw it all out. I think I succeeded. I think I cleaned up everything. Maybe we just walk out to sea then. Add ourselves to the pile. 
Oh, damn, you can walk out in the water much more than I thought you'd be able to. Oh, that's another cool thing, the way that the water actually, like, uh, drags across your limbs. That's really neat. I've almost fully submerged myself. I never got rid of the hat. I didn't want to throw it out. Maybe I have to, to, like, progress. I'm suspicious there is no progression beyond this. I'm just kind of messing around with it. It would be neat, like, if you wanted to take something like this further, play around with that engine or whatever, would be to exclude the shadow in the water and instead replace it with, like, a reflection of some kind. That would be neat. Probably pretty complicated. Oh, the plastic rings were never properly deposited either. Hat, rings, it's all been trashed. Give ourselves a weird gangly pat on the back there. <laughs> Alright, well, in the menu here, yeah, there was hunt and finds. I'm legit missing something. I'm missing multiple things. What? Next wash up in one minute? That's a rather slow, slow wash up. But I like the way the menu just kind of pops in next to whatever you're doing and that you can interact with it in this way, that it doesn't cut away to its own screen or anything. That's really cool, too. Uh, now we're counting down in seconds. I'll strategically position myself in the far off corner so I can start collecting things from up here. And I'll work my way down and along towards that trash bin, collecting anything and everything. Oh, five more minutes. Okay, so the next wash up happened. I'm, I'm probably not going to wait through endless wash ups until every possible thing comes up because there's probably a level of randomization. It's not like... The things I don't have are specifically what are about to show up. Interesting to really rely on the sound design over music. I like the way that as I'm stepping, every second step was like sp squishing and plopping in the water there. That'll start again here. Ah, I, I'm not quite straddling the line like I was anymore. But that's, that's cool. Every footprint is registering precisely where it's stepping and, and playing a sound accordingly. All right, well, things are washing up quite slowly. I'm not going to stick around for that. Yeah, even in a goofy experimental thing like this, there's still some neat stuff to think about and, and to have in mind. I know they do experimental goofy stuff like this. Oh, the way he, like, shuts down when you open the menu is almost sad. He, like, loses his little... He loses his light and just kind of sinks down. Aw. <laughs> but I, I know this one was kind of experimental and, and weird or whatever, not really gamey. A lot of them are more gamey. Stick around. Plenty more to be seen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again with more Sock Pop tomorrow.